Alrighty. Now we need to install an authentication package called Laravel Breeze. So we can just go to our terminal for this. Here, let's click on the plus sign to open a new terminal. Here in our live wire chat folder, let's run this command composer require lava forward slash breeze dash dash dev. Now, this is gonna install our breeze. So let's just wait for it to finish. All right, so now the composer has successfully installed our breeze package. Now we have to publish our authentication files and folders. So here at the bottom, okay, let's type php artisan breeze install. Type this command and then click enter. Okay, let me just zoom out. So it's gonna ask us which stack we prefer. We want blade. So let's click zero here. Zero and just say yes and yes. All right, Breeze has successfully been installed. So that the good part with Breeze is that it's gonna help us install Tailwind for us, which is good. Also Alpine JS JavaScript, because we're gonna use Alpine for this course. All right, so after that, you have to go to your ENV. In here, if you have a password for your database, right here, in here, you can just here, change the name to Livewire Chat. Here, you put your database username, and if you have a password, you can put the password here. Okay, so after doing that, we're now going to close the ENV. All right, now let's come down here. We have to run PHP Artisan Migrate. Click enter. Okay, now it's asking to create the database for us so we don't have to go to PHP My Admin to do that. Just click yes. And voila, our tables have successfully been migrated. And now, let's, if we go back to our website, here, let's refresh. In our local host, you see we now have this login register. And if I just go to register, you can create a new account. And for this course, I highly recommend you use this extension, Chrome Fake Filler. Like you should install this extension in your Chrome because it's going to help us create accounts real fast. So if you have installed that, you can just close it. In here, we can just click. We can just click here on the top to to provide value for our input field. So after that, click register, and voila, we have now created our first user for our application. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.